In this video, I'll show you the best way to enable and customize the Metal FPS HUD by using a new menu bar app for macOS Tahoe called Metal HUD Menu. In the past, if you wanted to enable the Metal HUD, you would have to either copy and paste a command into Terminal or edit the configuration file for your crossover bottle. Neither of those things are fun to do. This new tool lets you enable and save your customized HUD system-wide. Meaning, let's say you want your metal HUD to always show just FPS and memory and have it at a small size and at a low opacity. And we want this across all of our native games and even crossover. Metal HUD menu can let you do that. Let's check it out. So we're going to look at two apps. The first app is made for macOS Sequoia users, and it's called Metal HUD Toggle. It simply lets you turn the Sequoia Metal HUD on and off with a single click. If you want to use the full-fledged app and customize your HUD, you'll have to be on macOS Tahoe. All right, once on the Metal HUD menu GitHub page, we can go to Releases. And since we're on macOS Sequoia, we want to click the sequoia.zip download and save it to our Mac. Once downloaded, we can double click to unzip it. Then I'm going to open a finder window and drag the app into my applications folder. Next, I'm going to go to my applications folder and double click Metal HUD Toggle. We should get a message that says Metal HUD Toggle not opened. We can click Done, go to System Settings, Scroll all the way down to Privacy and Security, and then scroll all the way down to where it says Metal HUD Toggle was blocked to protect your Mac, and we can click Open Anyway, and then insert our password. Once launched, we can see this little game controller icon in our menu bar, and it's important to note that we need to have Steam or Crossover or whatever game that we're using exited out of before setting our Metal HUD. So everything's closed. I can click on the menu bar icon and then click Enable FPS Counter. I can also use Command 1 to toggle it on and off. I'm going to go to the latest release and I'm going to download it for macOS Tahoe this time. Once downloaded, I'm going to double click it to unzip it and I'm going to open a finder window and drag it into my applications folder. Once in my applications folder, I can double click it and we should get a message that says Metal HUD menu not opened. So we can click Done, go to System Settings, scroll down until we get to Privacy and Security. Then we're going to scroll all the way down, and where it says Metal HUD menu was blocked to protect your Mac, we can click Open Anyway, and then click Open Anyway again, and then insert our password. So once we've launched Metal HUD Menu, you'll see that we've got this little controller icon living up in our menu bar. And here is Metal HUD Menu. So the first thing I'm going to do is make sure everything is closed. So Steam is closed, Crossover is closed, and now I'm ready to set my HUD the way I want it. So I'm going to toggle on Enable Metal HUD. And then the first section we have are our presets. So I can click FPS Only, Full, rich, and default. So I like to customize my HUD a little bit. So what I'm going to do is go to default, and then I'm going to change it a little bit. So I like having the device shown. I don't need Rosetta Info. I'm going to keep layer size and composition. I'm going to keep memory, FPS. I'm going to get rid of frame interval. Don't need the graph. Don't need GPU time. And I don't need game mode. I'm also going to make the size a little bit smaller, and I'm going to make the opacity a little less. Next, I can choose a location. So usually it defaults to the top right, but let's put it left center. And I think that's how I want it, so now I can click Apply. So now I'm on the Mac version of Steam, and let's try playing a game. Nice. Pretty cool. Let's check out Crossover, see if that worked. I'm going to launch Crossover. I'm going to launch the PC version of Steam. And this is a PC game running through Crossover. And we have that same customized Metal HUD. If I want to change how the HUD looks, I just need to quit Steam and Crossover. Then go back to our menu bar app and change it how we want it. Hit Apply and then reopen our app and game. 
So that's Metal HUD Menu for macOS Tahoe, a really easy and convenient way to customize your Metal HUD system-wide. A big shout out to Jay Fishin for creating such a useful app. If you have any issues or questions, you can visit the Mac Gaming Discord server to get support. The link to the server is in this video's description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.